Hey babies, what's up? It's Haley, and welcome back to my channel. It's been a little while. Haley is currently 23 weeks. And you know what? At this point, I thought dressing myself would get harder and harder, but the whole point of today's video is that I was actually able to kind of figure out your ultimate guide to styling a bump. But for you guys that aren't pregnant, before you click off, I did want to let you know that every single piece of clothing I'm going to be showing you today is actually not maternity clothing at all. These are just regular clothes that I can actually wear after I give birth as well. So I'm going to be showing you a lot of different outfit inspiration whether you're pregnant or not so be sure to go ahead and stick around i'm gonna show everything tried on yes a round of applause for me i'm actually gonna put all of these on my body and i did want to preface this video is not sponsored so all the clothing i'm gonna be showing you are actually things that i picked out for myself and like amazon target walmart different retail stores that are all super affordable and even once baby girl comes out i can't wait to style these pieces even after i give birth so with all that i think we should go ahead and get started my criteria for clothing in general but especially when I'm pregnant is that I need my outfits to be comfortable, I need them to be roomy, and I also need them to be breathable. I don't like feeling restraint at all, I just want comfort. So personally, one of my favorite things to wear have been one-piece items, and this is exactly what I mean right over here. Rompers, whether they're like short rompers or long rompers, have been the most comfortable because if you find one in a nice stretchy fabric, it gives you a lot of room to grow over here. This romper is actually from Amazon. I have it in like four or five different colors. I'm going to show you them all. I actually wore these right in the the beginning of my pregnancy before having a bump at all and now even with a bump I have a lot of space in my belly to grow which I'm really excited for obviously I'm gonna leave everything linked down below but I got the romper in the nude color which I love the most I think is the most versatile I also got it in the gray this beautiful like rust reddish tone and then obviously in the black as well it's a really nice basic these rompers have also been my favorite go-to just to wear in the house and doing some chores at home but if I want to take it for a more on-the-go outfit at that point all you just got to do is add some layers and accessories which brings me to another item that I love wearing while pregnant and that is big oversized button downs. You guys, this is absolutely the easiest thing that you're able to thrift. Head on over to your thrift store, rummage through your dad's closet or your husband's closet. These button downs have been such a fun way to kind of like layer on top of your looks and turn them into actual outfits. These colorful ones are really great to wear if you're wearing something more neutral underneath. The typical baby blue, super versatile and looks really, really great with a pair of denim. And then it's really fun to also look for button downs with some texture. So this one has some really, really subtle stripes going on which is great back to the rompers and the one-piece sets as you guys can see I am wearing a romper right now that I actually thrifted and what's great about one-piece jumpsuits like this is that if you're a lazy person that really does not want to accessorize you just want to like throw on one piece and be done with it jumpsuits are a really great option for you the one thing that I would know with jumpsuits if you want to wear them during your maternity time definitely look for jumpsuits that have a seam that actually go right underneath the breast because if you have the seam kind of cutting across your belly it's not usually the most flattering and sometimes that seam can can like really dig into your stomach instead of giving you some room to grow but these are for sure a more dressy version which brings me to one piece jumpsuits that are definitely more athleisure style both of these jumpsuits are from old navy let me first talk about this one because this is an amazing dupe for the aritzia divinity jumpsuit and the wide leg flare if you do like a wider leg at the bottom the wider leg jumpsuits are so flattering they make your legs look super long and i really love sporting the bump in these these come in a bunch of different colors they are often on sale i picked each of these up for just under $30 and pairing a wide leg flare jumpsuit like this with a pair of like sneakers oh it looks so good and it's so easy because it's literally just one piece of clothing but then we have this one as well which really is the perfect dupe for the Aritzia divinity jumpsuit these definitely give off like a dancer or model off-duty look because they are slimmer at the ankle sometimes with pieces that are like super tight like this I'm not really comfortable so I always just try to layer something on top that's where white button downs come in clutch they're great if you feel like you want to hide a little bit of your shape they also cover the bum so you don't have to feel like your butt's on display and as I mentioned before this is another one of those things that I absolutely love to wear during the maternity phase okay last two jumpsuits I want to show you I'm obsessed and I know I'm showing you a bunch of jumpsuits but genuinely they have been my favorite thing to wear during pregnancy but these ones also from Old Navy are perfect for you if you really like the jumpsuit trend but you don't want anything tight or hugging your body at all these ones are great they're made of kind of like what feels like a mousseline material and these are super 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 baggy which I really like because it's so roomy and it's so airy. The wide leg is so flattering. And I bought both of these in a size small. And I can tell you right now that I can wear this all the way towards the end of my pregnancy for sure because it is just so roomy over here. And even the white one, you guys, I was scared that it was gonna be super see-through and it's not. If you wear like neutral underwear, I think it's fine. But if you do wanna have an added layer of security, something I've personally been loving, I got them from H&M, are these shorts right over here. These little short stockings, I think are gonna be the actual thing 
clothing that I show you that is maternity but they're so cheap you can get like a pack of two for 10 bucks and they are great because first of all they go right over your belly and you can bring them up super super high these shorts will just ensure that nobody's seeing your undies and at the same time just make you feel a little bit more secure so with white dresses and white rompers like these this becomes your best friend all right next up I wanted to chat about denim let's see how you can take something you already have in your wardrobe and make it work even if you are growing a bump so we've all got that favorite pair of jeans that is just so hard to let go during this time this is it for me it's just a pair of thrifted wranglers I love these so much they're a super wide leg fit and they're high rise as well I am definitely at a point where these do not button on me anymore but because they are a baggier fit they still go over my bum and my waist I actually have a little hack on how you can keep them up and all you're gonna be needing is a hair tie all you're gonna do is grab your hair tie you're gonna wedge it right underneath the button over here take the edge of the hair tie and just put it through the buttonhole and then you're gonna bring it back over and just put it on the button again this is a really great way to maybe get another extra month or two wear out of your jeans by helping you keep up that fly and keep it fitted without actually having to go and sew so I would suggest doing this and then going ahead and maybe pairing it with like an extra baggy t-shirt or a big oversized sweater something that would just definitely cover up the fly area and then you can still have the look of wearing jeans but still having the comfort of letting your belly breathe and while we're on the topic of denim I thought it would be a really good opportunity to mention that overalls are such a cute thing for you to wear while you're pregnant plus they are super super comfortable too these vintage overalls right here are from Tommy Hilfiger they are a size small and they still fit me even though I'm like five months pregnant right now this makes me feel like such a 90s mom especially if I had like some little sunglasses and you can honestly take it into every season in the summer I like wearing them with tank tops or with t-shirts underneath in the winter time if you have a pair of longer overalls you can just wear like a white or black turtleneck underneath which can look really good too so let's talk a little bit more about bottoms because I do know that a lot of people tend to opt for like skirts and dresses and one-piece items and not bottoms because if you don't get maternity bottoms they're sometimes a little bit harder to wear but I'm gonna show you guys a couple examples of some bottoms that can still work even if you're pregnant and again all of these pants that I'm gonna be showing you remember they're not maternity they're just regular pants typically my regular size too these are just some trousers I actually thrifted but they're originally from Wild Fable which is a Target brand and these have like a super stretchy elastic waistband which is exactly what you want to look for if you still want to go ahead and wear your bottoms into your second and third trimester two components you want with a pair of pants like this one you want the elastic to be super super stretchy and the fabric to have a lot of give and two you ideally want to find a pair that's like super high-waisted I'm talking maybe like a 12 inch fly from the bottom to the top of the seam because when it comes to bottoms that are not maternity you're either gonna want to take it and pull it right up on top of the belly or you're gonna want something that is so low rise that it can sit right under the bump and then I just paired this thrifted button down with it which reminds me if you are thrifting already for like men's shirts and men's button downs also check out the short sleeve ones because they can be super cute too and very versatile more for like the summer months but I really love the way this look pairs together another pair of versatile bottoms I wanted to share are pants that have a very elastic waist with the drawstring and these have been my favorite most lightweight pants to wear because it really doesn't feel like you're wearing anything and these are actually from Amazon I think they were under $25 and they have a really long fly area that you can also pull them up over the bump and on Amazon they come in a bunch of colors as well there's like white there's brown there's this beautiful nude they are so breathable so stretchy lots of room to grow and just give off a really nice summer vibe and your girl I just love me my pattern pants I feel like they make every look look so fun as you can see it actually has like a ruching elastic band in the back and especially gearing into the fall time baggy on baggy is something that looks really great so I really love bottoms that have such a nice wide leg like this pairing it with like a really oversized button down would just look so chic especially if you like slick back your hair into a nice bun I mean you can't be more of a fashionable mom than that okay and the last bottoms I wanted to talk about before getting into the dresses is skirts midi skirts specifically I love these so much these two specific ones are actually from Target got it in a hot pink and in a black and as you can see it's like a really nice like silky satin material you can thrift a lot of these for yourself especially if you head on over to the lingerie section but my favorite thing to pair skirts like this is to either wear them with a t-shirt that I can like tie a knot at the front right over top of my bump or you can actually wear them with crop tops because the crop top kind of ends over here and the skirt kind of ends over here as well so they meet up together really nicely so that's a favorite combination of mine if you want to go and wear skirts like this and for sure something you're gonna want to wear even after baby's born and then the last category I really wanted to hit in terms of what I love to wear while pregnant is dresses and the first one oh I have a lot of examples of these is the more fitted kind of like bodycon ribbed material style dresses these ones I am obsessed with you've seen me wear 
wear them in the past. I have them in so many different colors. This is just a few. These kind of like midi dresses are really the cutest thing to wear, especially during pregnancy, because not only are they super flattering, they're really comfortable too. And you can easily dress them up and dress them down. All of these dresses are from Old Navy. What I love about them is that they have a very high neckline and they've also got two little side slits in the bottom of the dress as well, which is like a nice sexy little detail. And they come in so many different colors too, a ton of color options with this. And what I want you guys to keep in mind as well, I got all of these in a size small. I got maybe like two of them in a size medium for when I'm like towards the end, end, end of my pregnancy, if the small is too small. But the great thing about rib material dresses is that they're really stretchy and they have a lot of give. So even if you are not pregnant, you guys, you gotta snag up these dresses because even now with fall coming around, I mean with like a denim jacket or a leather jacket thrown on top, I love, 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 love. Another category of dresses that I think look the best when you're pregnant is maxi dresses. Maxi or like almost maxi midi dresses. These are two that I thrifted in really, really fun patterns. I got each of these for like six or seven dollars maybe. They look super cute on and dresses like these are so easy to shop for. The main thing I wanted you guys to keep in mind, obviously make sure that the chest part is something that would fit you. And then the second thing, like I said, you wanna make sure that the seam goes right underneath the breast, just like it does over here. And then that way, as your belly grows and expands, the dress won't be constricting and it will give you a lot of room to grow. Which brings me to the last type of maxi dress that is super cute and that is tiered dresses. If you don't know what tiered dresses are, it's basically dresses that as you can see, they have a bunch of seam cutoffs coming all the way down to the end. But again, it's got the nice thick ruching over here and then the main seam goes right underneath the breast. So then the belly can just definitely be free and look super cute. Plus the adjustable straps, always great because I personally have a very long torso. So I like to be able to adjust the height of my straps to however length I want it. I was able to find a ton of different dresses on Amazon just like this one for under 20 bucks in such cute colors. So I'm gonna leave that linked. But if you really wanna feel like a cottage core queen, especially during your pregnancy, just a pair of sneakers and a tote bag and you are good to go. Okay, I'm finished talking, but now I'm actually gonna have to go and try all of these on for you so you get some try on clips. So wish me luck and be sure to give me a really big thumbs up if you guys enjoyed this video. It's definitely not easy to do fashion content while five months pregnant. But if you guys give me a thumbs up, then I'm gonna feel like it was all worth it. So whether you guys are shopping for some new items, planning on going thrifting, or even just going back to your own closet. After seeing this guide, hopefully you can really now pick and choose items that you're like, hey, you know what? This can work even in its current size. It can still work with my belly. Let me know down below which of these pieces were your favorite. If you wanna shop any of them, I'm gonna leave links down below as well. Be sure to follow me on Instagram because on both my feed and my stories, I show you guys what I'm wearing on the daily if you do wanna get more daily inspiration. And subscribe down below if you haven't already to join the amazing family. Bunch of fashion content on here. We do a lot of family vlogs as well if you wanna to get to know the Hay family. We're super excited for baby girl and we love taking you guys on the journey with us. So thank you guys so much for watching. I love you forever and always and I can't wait to see you in my next one.